Hello guys, I'm Jasveer and today I'll be talking about a knuckle joint. A knuckle joint is basically a mechanical joint which helps in connecting of two shafts and allows a relative angular motion between them. I'll be using SolidWorks Fast to demonstrate what a knuckle joint really looks like and then I'll be showing a little animation so I should show it's working. So this is how a knuckle joint really looks like. Uh, we have the two shafts that are right located right at the ends. Then there are the two components called the fork and the eye. The fork is this one shown in black and the eye is this one shown in silver. We also have a central pin that basically connects both, both the fork and the eye together. The central pin is held in its place using a collar through which a tapered pin goes through it. Now I'll be telling you about the commands that I use in order to make all of these components. First, to make the fork, you need to use very simple commands. For example, if you need to basically create the shaft, you can use directly the extruded boss base option in the features tab. Then if you want to create this profile, what you can actually do is that you can select a plane, for example, in the top plane, you, you can select the top plane, you can make a profile that is shaped like an inverted U and then you can cut extrude it using this option. So as to get this hollow hollowness. Sim same way you can make a hole that directly goes through both of them and at the end if you repeat all those commands, you will be guessing getting this particular shape. Now the same process can also be repeated for the eye. The eye actually looks like this. It's a bit simpler than the fork because at this end you just need to have only one circular hole and you don't need to have those complex inverted U that ha that were there in the fork. So this is a part that can be easily manufactured using the same basic commands extruded boss, extruded cut. And now the, the components which are the easiest among all of these are the collars. The collars can be very easily made using an extruded boss base option. You can first of all make a sketch in the top plane or in whichever plane you require. Make an annulus and then you can extrude extrude them to the certain depth which you require. An important thing is the fact that the, the whole, the cut extruded part which is directly passes through uh, this annulus that has to be made according to the dimension that you have chosen for the tapered pin it shouldn't be any arbitrary because if it happens then the mating wouldn't be proper and then it might look as if they are dislocated okay so after doing the collar we'll be talking about the tapered pin the tapered pin oh sorry the central pin is very easy to make what you can do is that in the top plane you can first of all make a sketch of the axis and uh, and one of the sections of this central pin then you can revolve it using the revolve boss base option so as to create this object again at the end when you are creating this hole you need to have the same dimensions as you have chosen for the tapered pin and finally the tapered pin is the easiest to make you just need to use a revolved boss base option and you can easily manufacture it using the same steps as done for the previous subjects so while assembling all of these what one can do is first of all use the mate options now mate options you have various things like coincident parallel etc so uh, you can first of all use the hidden axis so if one of them one of the components suppose say you need to get the axis of the central pin the eye and the fork need to get aligned so you can just use the coincident mate select those axis and you can get a particular alignment and other axis other and mostly this com this command is the one that one needs to use as to make it and finally, if you need to give a realistic photo finish, you can use the render tools option and go for a final render so as to give a real product finish, which would help you in knowing that how it would actually look in real life. So thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments below.